sort of impromptu, it's really bright out here, but um, uh, I want to show you a couple of things. First thing I want to show you is my rope. I don't know what you're using. Um, I'm using spot cord, but I actually paint my spot cord with a really light paint, so what I do is I, um, I use like a, a paint that isn't very, it isn't acrylic or anything, and I basically take it and put it on a sponge, and when I put it on a sponge, uh, I then put water, so it's really very easy to um, go on the rope, and also allows you to be able to, um, uh, you know, so it's not too thick, because the last thing you want to do is get that, you know, putting into your uh, rope, and it'll be hard, and it'll never be the same. So here's the thing you also want to know. I'm using a 18-foot rope. Uh, loop, the other guy I was in the show with, like to use 17, uh, and everybody has their own thing. Uh, I, at the end, I usually just do a wad of tape because when you start flying around and you're doing stuff, it, you want to be able to have that. Uh, some people use a knot. I find that hard to kind of get spinning in your hand if you're doing some a lot of switching around. Uh, the Honda is, this one's different, and I'm going to clean the lens here. It looks kind of funky, but um, there we go. Uh, but here's the Honda. Um, I actually have changed recently, but that's actually rubber. And I get this like really thin rubber, and I sew it in, and then I have my coin, which is actually a quarter. I like a kind of heavy one, and then I get it. That's what it looks like, basically. I'm sure you know that, but I'm just letting you know what mine looks like. I now am back to leather. And obviously, with your rollovers and anything that you do, this is a primary reason why you can do rollovers and do them really slowly. Slow, because the whole deal is that it, that friction allows it to roll over slowly and then catch it. But here's the trick. Watch my wrist. The trick is, is that first of all, i got to get this out of there. Um, the trick is, is that you're going to have to learn to do more wrist. And I don't know what you're doing, so I, when you show it to me, you know, I'll be able to assess it. But it's really a matter of spinning it. See, my hand is, look at my wrist. I mean, there's so much wrist there. There's so much wrist there that when you do spin it, boom, I hit it, and you get it right at the bottom, boom, and you spin it, and you go, boom, and when you get that spin, and you use your wrist, it really allows you to be able to kick it and let it roll over, because I stop once I get it to kick over, um, you want to make sure your loop isn't too big. Because if your loop's too big as well, then you're going to wind up having, um, it's not going to roll over well. So that's about the size I use, and boom, it rolls over. And then you got to kind of go back here and get the kinks out, because the problem is that if you don't, it gets kinked and that's not going to work. All right, so here we go. I'm going to show you, and I'll slow this down. I'll do a couple slow down so you can see it. Boom. The wrist is, bop, right there. It's at the very bottom, bop and rolls over. So anyway, that's kind of the basic idea of the rollover, but I wanted you to see my rope and to see if you have the correct rope and what you're doing, because that's really a biggie. You can spend years and years. And uh, that's it. Um, I will talk to you later and give you some more tips as you send me what you think you have, and we'll go from there. Slow, because the whole deal is that it, that friction allows it to roll over slowly and then catch it. But here's the trick. Watch my wrist. The trick is, is that first of all, I gotta get this out of there. Um, the trick is, is that you're gonna have to learn to do more wrist, and I don't know what you're doing, so I, when you show it to me, you know, I'll be able to assess it, but it's really gonna wind up having, um, it's not gonna roll over well. So that's about the size I use, and boom, it rolls over. And then you gotta kinda go back here and get the kinks out. Because the problem is that if you don't, it gets kinked and that's not going to work. All right, so here we go. I'm going to show you, and I'll slow this down. It's not going to roll over well. So that's about the size I use, and boom, it rolls over. And then you got to kind of go back here and get the kinks out. Because the problem is that if you don't, it gets kinked and that's not going to work. All right, so here we go. I'm going to show you, and I'll slow this down. I'll do a couple slow down so you can see it. Boom. The wrist is bop right there.